Hey guys, welcome to the Men's Health Interval Strength DVD. I'm David Jack, and our team has Jeremy Shore and Rainey Davis. And these guys are here to help us with all sorts of variations to the exercises if you need to make them a little bit more challenging or if you're just starting off and want to make them a little easier. So we're going to get right into the warm-up. If you're ready, first exercise is going to be big shoulder rolls. So we'll have our thumbs back, and we're going to go ahead and roll them. Ready? Go. Big rolls. That's it. Just relax. Now remember, we're warming up, so it's nice and easy. One more, and now we're going to go forward. Thumbs forward. Good job. Just let them roll. We got three, two, one, and now we're going to go into a trunk twist. So let's open our feet a little bit. We're just going to punch our hand across our body and reach away from us. Ready? Go. There we go. Punch that hand away, relaxed through our core. Back foot opens up, and we're going to pull our hands through. We got three, two, one. Now we're going to go into a knee hug. So we're going to get our balance, brace through our core. We're going to pick our leg up toward our chest. So you guys can go ahead and lift your left leg. Ready? Go. Squeeze it up. Alternate. Good. Keep that toe pulled up towards your shin. And just really ground your core so that you can balance through the exercise. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now we're going to open our hips up with some big hip circles. So left leg, just pick it up and turn it over. Ready? Go. Alternate. Good job. We're lifting from our hips. Not so much our knees or our feet. Trying to keep those shoulders square to make the hips do the work. We have two more. Last one. Excellent. From here, we're going to do some nice ankle rolls. So you're going to pick up your left foot. We're going to draw big circles outside with our foot. Ready? Go. Big circles. Brace through the core to really help keep your balance. And we're going to turn it around and go inside with our toe. Go. Good job. Try to keep that balance. Excellent. We're going to switch our feet. So go ahead, pick up your other foot. Draw those big circles out. Good job. Just freeing up our ankles and we switch. Going inside. Excellent. Beautiful. Couple more. And good job. We're going to open up our quads right now. So we're going to grab our ankle, not our toes. You can do your left leg first. So let's grab our ankle and stretch open those legs. Go ahead. Balance. Push our hips through to get that stretch. And we're going to alternate. Good. Excellent. We have three to go. Balance. Push the hips. Get those thighs stretched out. Beautiful. Now we're going to do an exercise that's called inchworm. So it's going to open our hamstrings. It's going to fire our core. It's going to be a, just a great extension to the warm-up. So get your hands to the ground. If you, if you can bend your knees a little bit, it'll help you get there. If you can do it straight leg, go for it. So let's reach down. Walk out strong into a push-up. Hold for a second. Drive back. And let's reach to the sky for a stretch. We got two more. We go down. We walk it out. Back. And we reach. Here we go. Stretch those hamstrings. Walk out into your push-up. Back up. And reach to the sky. We're going to go down to the ground now. We're going to do a core series. First exercise, we're going to get set up with our knees underneath our hips, hands underneath our shoulders. It's called a bird dog. So you guys are going to lift your left arm and your right leg, and we're going to do the same side for five reps. Race that core. Nice, strong line in our back. Here we go. One. Two. Thumb up. Three. Four. Five. Let's switch and go to the other side. Ready? Go. Good. We're trying to get distance between our hand and our foot, so get real long lines. Good. We have one more. And now we're going to stay where we are. We're going to go right down to the ground. We're going to open up our chest, and we're going to work our shoulders a little bit. So we're going to put our hands out in a wide position to our body, thumbs up, dig our toes in. From our shoulder blades, we're going to push our thumbs toward the ceiling. You guys ready? Go. Raise them up. 
You can keep your gaze out in front of you just to see what we're doing. When you feel comfortable, tuck your chin and look at the ground like Jeremy and Rainy. We got two more. Last one. Arms out to the side. We get into a T position. Same thing. Ready? Go. Try tucking that chin when you can to save your neck. There's an orange between your shoulder blades and you're trying to squeeze it to make juice. Good. We got two, one, and we're gonna go into a W. So let's bend our arms into 90 degree angles with our arms. We're gonna pull from our shoulder. We're gonna drive those elbows toward the sky. Ready? Go. It's all small ranges of motion here, but we're really focusing on squeezing that orange and getting a little burn in our back. That last one. And hands down to our outside to make a V, palm toward the floor. And here we go. That's it, guys. Really pull from your back and your shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Let's put our hands in front of us. We're going to do something called reverse snow angels. Palms are going to be down in the front. We're going to bring them to our backside. And with our palms up, we're just going to sweep them. You ready? Go. Palms up, palms down. Palms up, palms down. Here we go. Just moving through 10 of these. Right here with you. Nice and warm. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. We're going to pop it up into a core series. So we're going to go into cat, cow, down dog. So first exercise, we're going to suck our spine up toward the ceiling as we breathe in and just get a little stretch there. So here we go. You ready? Go into cat, down into cow as we breathe out. And let's drive our heels into the ground, hip toward the sky, up into what we call down dog. Return to the floor, cat, cow, and up to down dog. Stretch those hamstrings. Return, cat, cow, breathe out, drive up to our heels, stretch it, stretch it. Excellent, we're gonna come up to our feet. And what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna step back with your left leg and we're gonna get into a lunge. Ready, step back, hold. We're gonna raise our arm toward the sky. Now we're gonna turn away. We're coming back to center, hands to the ground, and then push our legs up, lifting that front toe to stretch our hamstring. Transition back into our lunge. Good, coming up. Let's raise our arm, go ahead. Let's make our turn, go. Back to center, hands to the ground, and stretch. Pull that toe towards your shin. Last one, transition into the lunge. Good, get strong right here, nice and tall. Lift that arm, make that turn, back to center. We're going down to the ground. We got that hamstring stretch. Good job, guys. Let's switch legs. We're gonna step back again into our lunge, go. Excellent, let's raise our arm, rotate, back to center, hands to the ground, and stretch it, pull that toe up. We got two, back in. Get stable first. Raise, turn, center, down, stretch. Open the hamstrings. Here it is, last one, guys. Drop in. Get strong here. Drive to the sky. Turn, center, hands to the ground. Let's come up and stretch one last time. Good job, great warm up. We're gonna move into the two minute drill and keep this workout rolling. All right, here we go. We're gonna open it up with the two minute drill. It's gonna be eight exercises for 15 seconds each. The first one is gonna be a side to side hop with arm rotations. So if you guys are ready, let's get it started. Here we go. Good, so we're rolling those arms backward. And now we're gonna switch and bring those arms forward. It's tricky, I know. We're gonna move in two skips in three, two, one. You guys are gonna start with your left leg, drive it in the air, and we're gonna skip. Ready, go. We're gonna stay nice and tall, drive those elbows back, 
Pull those toes up. Good job. From here, we're going to move to side to side skater hops. In two, one, we stop. You guys are going to start jumping to your left on one foot and then go back to the other side. Ready? Go. Good. Nice small jumps, just getting our body moving. Excellent. Next exercise is going to be on the ground. It's a Spider Man push up. Rainy's got a modification for you. In three, two, one. And we're down to the ground. You don't have to go on the push up with this exercise, so just watch Rainy. We're going to do a push up and drive our knees to our elbows. Ready? Go. And up. Good. That's it. Keeping a good long line from our heels to our neck. Nice guys. We're going to go to crunches from here. Good. In two, one. Let's flip it over onto our backs. We're going to bring our feet toward our backside. We're going to put our eyes toward the ceiling, hands on our chest. We're going to crunch up, pushing our face toward the ceiling. Ready? And up. Down. Up. Down. Good. Squeezing that belly button into the ground. Squish a grape in your low back down to the ground. There we go. Good. We have four, three, two, one. We're going to bring it over back into a push up position. So we're on our hands and feet. You're going to drive your knee to your opposite elbow. So you guys can go left knee to right elbow. Ready? Go. There we go. Strong core. Light touches with our feet on the ground. Next exercise is going to be kind of a squat thrust to stand. Rainy, once again, has a modification if you're not quite ready to kick your feet up behind you. In two, one, let's get up on our feet. So we're going to go down, out, in, and stand. Ready? Go. Out, in, stand tall. Down, out, in, stand tall. Good job, guys. Push through this. We're almost there. Excellent. A few more seconds. Come on, push through. Last one. In. Good job. Two minute drills over. If you need to take a break, go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to move on to superset one. Hey guys, here we go. It's superset one, and it's time to add some dumbbells to our exercises. So if you have them, great. If not, let's go ahead. We're going to pick up one dumbbell. Make sure that you squat down and pick it up nice and safely, bringing it up to top. This is a combination exercise, so we're going to do three exercises. The first one, you're going to wrap one hand over the other. We're going to set our feet just about shoulder width or a little wider apart, and we're going to let this dumbbell swing down through our legs and come back up to eyesight. Try not to bend your knees that much because we're trying to work your hamstrings. We have some more quad work coming for you later. So if you're ready, let's go for 10 reps and go. Swing it up. Good. Flat back. You guys really want to make sure you keep that normal curve in your back. Push your hips to the wall behind you. Good. We got three, two, one more. Excellent. We're going to put your left leg forward, right leg back. We're going to get down into a split lunge. Put the dumbbell on your opposite shoulder, and we're going to press it overhead, side to side, and go. Good. Three. Nice. Drive through. Stay down there. Stay strong. Four, three, two, and we're going to switch. One. Good job. Coming up. Let's switch feet. Get down into your lunge. Opposite shoulder, and go. Up. Good. Pushing through your core. We want to stay nice and tall. Good. Pull those abs in. Four, three, two, one. Last exercise is going to be what we call a goblet squat. So we're going to reset our feet a little wider than shoulder width. Get underneath the dumbbell with our hands. We're going to push our hips back, chest up into a squat, and go. Down, drive up. So what we're thinking about in all these exercises is keeping our knees over our ankles. Don't let them go over your toes because we want you to use your glutes in this exercise. Good. Four, three, two, last one. Great job, guys. Let's transition to the ground. You're going to grab two dumbbells. We're going to do an exercise called a push-up in row. If you guys aren't ready for the push-up yet, Rainy's got a modification where you're just going to stay in a plank, 
Row that dumbbell up. So if you're ready, get your dumbbell set, push up position, open your feet a little bit wider than your hips for stabilization, and here we go. Down, row. Down, row. It's important that we really stay strong on that down arm. And literally, it's like a rod of steel. We're locking it and driving through the ground as we roll that dumbbell up. Good. Excellent. Six. Five. I know, guys. I know you're almost there. Four. Three. Two. One. Good job. If you guys need to take a break, get some water, just relax a little bit. You can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you want to stay with us, we're going to do an active recovery. So let's open up that back a little bit by reaching across. Stretch. Other side. Good. Other side. And other side. Now we're going to free up our quads. We did a lot of leg work. Just grab the ankle, push. Ankle, push. Two more. Good job. Now we're getting ready to go back around into it. So let's pick up one dumbbell. Make sure the other one's safe. Squat down to it. Stand up with it. Find your breath. Hold the dumbbell. Here's our swings. Ready? Go. Remember, knees not bent too much. Back is flat. Squeeze those glutes. That dumbbell comes up. Protect your back. Good. Last one. Now, left leg forward. Let's get in that split lunge. Take your time, be safe. Opposite shoulder, drive. Two, good. Four, five, keep going. We're almost there, fellas. Seven, eight, nine, last one. Great, switch feet. Come on, you can make it, you can make it. Other side with the dumbbell, and go, over. Three. Halfway, guys, come on. Good. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Coming up the top, let's separate our feet a little wider than our shoulders. We'll grab our dumbbell for the goblet. Big chest, sit back, and go. You guys need to take a break. You can drop the weight. You don't have to go as deep in your squat. Let's keep that core strong. Push those hips behind us. Good. We got two. Last one. Excellent. Get your composure. Transition to the ground. We got those push-ups again. It's getting harder now, so if you got to modify, go for it. You ready? Get set. Feet wide. And let's roll. Go. One. Two. You got to really focus on your form now. Because when we get tired, we start to bow our back. I don't want you guys to get any injuries. If you're with us, this is great. Keep that core tight. Good. Come on. We got four. Two. Come on. Last one. Excellent. Good job, guys. Once again, if you have to take a break, go ahead and do it. If not, you're with us on an active recovery. So here we go, let's stretch that back out again. And across, and across, across, across. Let's get the quads, settle. Find your breath, take your time. Bring your heart rate down. We're feeling it too, trust me. Good, breathe in, breathe out, shake it off. Deep breaths will help you settle. We're gonna move into the last round. Stay with us, you guys have come this far. Let's pick up that dumbbell. We got swings. Finish this strong now, ready? Go. Good work, guys. Flat back, push those hips away from you. Get those hamstrings. Good, good, good. We got two, one, left leg comes forward. Opposite arm with the dumbbell. Let's do it, press it, go. Two, three. Good guys, focus on your form. 
Last one. Beautiful. Switch. We're almost there. Come on. Opposite shoulder and go. I know it burns. We designed it that way. So you guys can follow this and stay with us. When you get there, I promise you, you're going to love the way you look. Come on. Last one. Here we go. We got the squats, the goblets. Spread our feet. Grab our dumbbell. Brace our core. Big chest. And go. Come on. Keep that core in. Weights toward your heels. Keep those knees over your ankles. Don't let them travel up front of your toes. Good. Come on. We're almost there. Two. One. Beautiful. This is it, guys. It's the last push-up in a row. As many reps as you can do with us, stay with us. When you need to modify, drop out of it. Here we go. Set our feet. Let's finish this. Pull. Pull. Good. Come on. That's it. Strong line from our heels to our neck. Good. Seven. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Be with us. Two. Good job, guys. One. Excellent. There it is. Superset one. You've come through with us. Great job. All right, guys, here we go. It's superset number two. First exercise is going to be a reverse lunge. So if you have dumbbells in your hands, great. If not, let's bend down safely and pick them up. We're going to hold them to the sides of our body. And then what we're going to do is you're going to step back with your left leg really far behind, keeping our chest up nice and tall. And here we go. Drive up. Good. That's it. So we want to step far behind us keeping our chest up nice and tall because we still want to work your hips. Good. Way down into the lunge. Good posture. Weights toward that front heel. And we're keeping our knees back so they don't travel over our toes. It's going to keep them safe for you. Good. Come on. We're almost there. Nice. We got five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Let's set the dumbbells down. Use your legs. We're going to get into a push-up position. We're going to do a stop-and-go push-up. Rainy has a modification for you guys if you want to stay there. If you're coming with us, you're going to stop halfway down for a second, then at the bottom for a second, and drive straight to the top. we got 10 reps. So let's get set up. A little wider grip with our hands. And halfway. Go. One. One. Drive. Halfway down, drive. You got the tempo now. Stay with it. Do as many as you can with us. And if you have to switch out, go for it. Good. Push the floor away from your body. Strong core. Flat back. Last two. Come on. Last one. And finish. Good work. We're going to come back up to our feet. If you guys need to take a break, go ahead and do it. If you want to stay with us, we're going to do a little active recovery. So we're going to set our feet. We're going to reach our hand over our shoulder and behind us to open our chest up. So go ahead. Little stretch through here. Other side. Stretch through. Let's go one more each way. Don't turn your hips too much because we're trying to open your chest up. Good. Now we're going to split our feet. We're just going to open up our groin and our, our inside of our legs. So you move off to your left. Here we go. Here you go. Nice, easy stretch. Staying up tall. Get your breath. Last one. Excellent. So we're getting ready for round number two. So here we go. Let's go down and get our dumbbells safely again. Picking them up. We're going to get set. You guys are going to step back with your left foot. We got 20. And go. Reverse lunges. Let's alternate. Good job. Chest stays up. Step back deep with that foot. Weight stays toward your heel. Good, good, good. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your core strong. Nice, guys. Come on. We're doing it. Good, good. We got a few more. Come on. 
push to top. Control in, and I want you to drive your body back up to where you started. So we control back, four, three, core strong, two, last one. Excellent. Dumbbells down safely. Let's get back into that stop and go push up. Get set, hands wide, and go. Halfway, down, drive top. Halfway, down, drive top. Keep going. Good. If you want to make it a little harder, you can squeeze your hands toward each other and really try to create tension in your chest. If you've got to modify, go ahead and follow Rainey. Push as far as you can, and then be smart and get out of it. Good. Drive the floor away from you. Here we go. Last one. Hold, hold, push. Excellent. That's two down, one to go. If you can stay with us, do it. If you have to take a break, you go for it. Let's open that chest up, reaching over our shoulder. Go ahead. Nice. Bring your breathing back to normal. Gain your composure. Good. We're just opening everything up now. It's called active recovery. Let's do those groin stretches that we did. So spread our base. Moving off to your left. Go for it. Top. Good. So you're getting that trail leg long into the ground. Extend it out. Back up. Get your composure. Find your breath. We got one more round. Let's do it. Grab the dumbbell safely. We're going to get into that reverse lunge. You're going to step back with your left leg again and go. Good. Power up to top. So now we're a little tired and we've really got to focus on our form. Keeping safe. That's most important. That's the first thing we need to do for you guys. Make sure that this is a safe workout and then everything else will fall into place. Good. Control in, power to top. Drive that foot down through the ground, driving your head up to the ceiling. Good. Use your core to keep your balance. I almost lost it. Nice. Good. Two more. Last one. Good job. Set those dumbbells down. Down to the ground. Here it is, guys. Last set of push-ups. Let's push through. Get our feet set and go. Down, up. Halfway, down, up. Come on. Good. Squeeze those hands. Drive the floor away. Flat back from your head to your heels. Come on. Good job. We have three to go. Stay with us. Stay with us. Last one. Push it out. Stay strong. Focus on your core. Excellent work, guys. That is superset number two. You guys finished it. Great job. All right, guys, this is our strength circuit. We have three exercises that we're going to do back to back with less of a rest in between each. If you have your dumbbells in your hands, that's great. If not, let's pick them up. So go ahead, pick the dumbbells up, be safe. We're going to hold them in front of our thighs with our feet underneath our hips. This is a dumbbell Romanian deadlift. So we're going to start by pushing our hips back behind us and sliding the dumbbells down our legs. Then when we come to top, we're going to do an upright row. If you're ready, here we go. And then row up. Excellent. Slide back, top, pull. Here we go. What's important in this exercise is that we really concentrate on a flat back, not a big bend in our knees, because we're trying to work those hamstrings, those glutes, and then we're getting our shoulder and our pull exercise here at the top. It's a great combo. We got three. Excellent. We have two more. Good. Last one, and row. Next exercise, you're going to put your left foot forward, right foot back. We're going to do a split stance curl to press. So squeeze those dumbbells. We're going to curl them up, drive them out, press, down, return to center, and back. We have five of these. Come on. Good. Sturdy through our legs, strong through our core. That's it. That's it. Come on. 
Squeeze the dumbbells, two to go. Drive them to the ceiling. Last one coming up. Now we're gonna move into a split row. So here we go. We're gonna drop this dumbbell outside our leg, lean forward with a flat back, long with this arm, we're gonna row it up to our rib cage. Go. That's it. Equal weight on your feet, really supporting yourself with a nice flat back. Three, two, one, and we switch feet. Good job. We're gonna curl, here we go. Squeeze, out, drive, return, center, that's it, good. There we go, come on. Control the weight down, and I really want you to squeeze it up. Excellent, two to go. Squeeze, press, come on. Burn the buys, now the shoulders, and now we do the row on the other side. So this one goes outside, lean forward, straight arm, and row it. Good, trying to pull your elbow toward the middle of your back. Four, three, two, one. Let's set the dumbbells down away from your feet so you're safe, because we're gonna do a high knee run. Get those knees as high as you can. If you're not ready, just keep them a little bit lower like rainy. And go. Come on, hot floor. Get them up, drive those elbows back. We only got 10 seconds, so push. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. We're gonna come back around to that first exercise again, which is that dumbbell RDL. So let's pick up our dumbbells. Managing your breathing. We're gonna set our feet underneath our hips. Palms in. Here we go for 10 to that high pull. Go. And pull. And pull. That's it. Good, now we're focusing on our core. We're focusing on a flat back. Good job. Pull those elbows toward the ceiling. Knees aren't bent too much because we want the hamstrings. Good, two to go. Come on, here it is. Come on, we got one more. Excellent, here we go. We're gonna get in a split. So you guys are gonna put your left foot forward, your right foot back. We got that curl to press, five of them, and go. Curl, press, back to center, good. Come on, the harder that you guys squeeze these dumbbells, the more you're gonna work those muscles that the exercise is designed to work. Here we go, come on. We got one more, one more, this is it. Drive, nice. Let's get that row outside. Reach long and row. Good, straight back. From our heel to our neck is a straight line. Come on, three, come on, come on, here we go. One, and now we're gonna switch. So we switch our feet. We're gonna curl to press, ready? And go. Curl, drive it. Good, we control down. Good guys. Come on, we're squeezing those glutes. Here we go. Come on, we got two. We're almost there, we're almost there. Come on, curl, out, press, return. Excellent, let's get the row. Lean forward, arms straight, go for it. Pull that elbow to the back. And four, three, two, one, awesome, dumbbells down. Get them away from your feet so we're safe. We got the high knee run, 10 seconds. Come on guys, get the heart rate up and go. Hot floor, pull those toes up towards your shin. So you're on the balls of your feet. Smash your elbows back. Three, two, one, rest, shake it out. I know it's the last one. Dumbbell RDL to high pull. Come on, grab the dumbbells. Come on guys, you've come this far. Let's finish this. Feet under our hips, up nice and tall. Focus on your form. Go. We're gonna alternate. One arm, good. One arm, there we go. This is Jeremy's call. We wanted to switch this alternation in. I think it's a great adaptation to the exercise. Makes it a little different through your core. Come on. That's it. We got three. Two more. 
Last one. Excellent. Let's split our feet. Left foot forward. Curl to press. Last time through, guys. Come on. And go. Curl. Drive it. Back to center. That's important. It's going to work your scaps when we come back to center. Core just makes the exercise that much more effective. Good. Push through it, guys. Back to center. Down. Squeeze. Out. Press through the sky. Back. Middle. Down. Last one. Press. Middle. Down. We got our row. Lean forward. Get that arm straight. Go ahead. Come on, guys. Dig down. It's the last time through. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Let's switch our feet. Good. Curl to press. Let's finish this now. And go. Curl. Good, guys. Come on. We're almost done. This is the last round of this circuit. And if you've made it this far, we're proud of you. Come on. Come on. We got one more. Up. Out. Finish it. Good. Row it. Lean forward. Arm straight. Go for it. Four more. Come on. Here we go. One. Hold that core. Here we go. Set those off to the side. High knee run. Get fast now. Finish this. It's the last time. Ten seconds. All you got. Ready? Go. Smash those elbows back. Get those knees high. Hot floor. Get your feet off of it. Come on. Three. Finish. Two. One. Good job. You finished the strength circuit. Excellent work. Hey guys, so you finished the workout, it's time to cool down and stretch. It's such an important part of what we do because it's gonna return those muscles to their proper length and it's gonna get us ready to heal and be ready for the next workouts. So let's get down on our backs. You guys are gonna go ahead and you're gonna bend the knee that's closest to me and we're gonna do a hamstring stretch or a hamstring swing. So we're gonna lift that leg up toward our chest, stretch our hamstring, Go ahead. Straight leg, keep it there. Return to the floor. Good, drive it up. Really stretch that hamstring, return to the floor. Good, breathe out when we come up and in when we go down. Last one, we're gonna stay up top. We're gonna hold for a second. Now we're gonna pump our toes up and down. Here we go, go ahead, drive it up, pull it down. Good job. If we really pump those toes up and down, as we pull it, we're gonna get a calf stretch as well. Got a couple more here. Good job. We'll do two more. Last one. And let's switch. We're gonna straighten our other leg. We're gonna swing it up and go ahead. That's it. Return to the floor. Swing it up. Turn to the floor. If you can't grab at your calf, you guys can grab just behind your leg. We hold this one. Let that hamstring really stretch. And now let's pump those toes. Go on. Good. Push it up and pull it down. You should really feel through your hamstring and your calf. Four, three, Two, one. We're gonna bring our feet down to the ground. We'll put them out straight. You're gonna lift the knee that's closest to me for a knee hug. Nice and easy, grab behind the knee, pull it towards your chest. Go ahead. That's it. Alternate. This is just a really relaxing stretch. Purpose of the cool down is kind of let that workout drift away. Bring our breathing and our composure back and just settle. That down leg is straight so we can get a stretch in our hip flexor. Good. We got three more to go. Last two. And then here's our last one. Okay, why don't you raise the knee up that's closest to me. We're gonna do a crossover stretch. We'll take our other leg, we're gonna bring it across. 
Arms go out to the side, and we're gonna drop our legs away. Good. Just let that relax. You should feel a nice stretch through the outside of our body here, even up into our back and our ribs. Keeping both shoulders down. Deep breath in and exhale to let it go some more. Couple more seconds and let's switch to the other side. So just cross it over and drop it. Good. With all stretches, you just go to where you're comfortable and just let everything open up. And really breathing in and breathing out is gonna help the stretch get deeper and deeper. Okay, we're gonna switch now into a bent knee stretch. So why don't we bend the leg up that's closest to me at a 90 degree in our leg. We're gonna reach over our shin with our hands. We're gonna pull that ankle toward our chest. And get a nice stretch out here through our IT band. And now we're gonna lift the other leg up to that foot to create a triangle. We're gonna reach through into a pretzel stretch, pull it toward the body, and then this is really gonna sink the focus down here into our, our hips, our external rotators, our piriformis, all areas that really just need to be opened up. Excellent. One more second. Now let's switch to a bent knee stretch on the other side. So we bring it up, and then just pull it toward our center line. We're gonna get that down leg nice and straight so it's long. And then let's bring the other leg up to it. We're gonna reach through and just pull it toward our chest. Good job, guys. With your breathing, you just really push that workout right out of your system. We get ourselves rested and relaxed. Four more seconds here. Then we're going to come up into a sitting position. So let's go ahead, come on up into a seated position. We're going to get on our sit bones, nice and tall. We're going to bring the soles of our shoes together. We're going to do a nice butterfly. It's a groin or adductor stretch. So pull those heels towards your midline and just let those knees drop away from you. There we go. Then if you want to add a little bit to this stretch, you can just push through your elbows, bringing your chest up tall. You get more of a stretch out of it, but you guys got to go at your pace. Feel your way through it. We're going to come up onto our knees now. You guys are going to put the leg that's closest to me out in front of you. Our heel goes out past our knee. We're going to stretch our hip flexor. So our hands are on our side. We're going to push our hips toward the heel that's in front of us. So go ahead, slide it forward, keeping our chest up and tall. We're just going to open ourselves up here. And now what I want you guys to do is squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hip flexor. Go ahead, squeeze. Take a deep breath in. Now blow it out and sink deeper into the stretch. Keeping our shoulders square to where we're looking and our hips. Awesome. Just let it melt away, guys. All right, let's switch it. Other side. Put that heel out in front of our knee again. Hands on our hips. And here we go. We're going to slide into it. Go ahead. We want to try to keep that shin line almost straight up and down from our knee to our ankle. We're going to get that squeeze again through our core. Go ahead. Lock it down. Deep breath in, out as we sink deeper into the stretch. Nice and easy, just relax. Everything is just a slow, easy pace here. A few more seconds. Good, now we're gonna go into a little core series, but instead of warming us up, it's gonna cool us down. So it's that cat, cow, down dog. We're gonna stay in the down dog a little bit longer this time. So hands are gonna go under our shoulders, knees are under our hips. Here we go. We're going to pull up the spine into cat. Go ahead. As we breathe in, we breathe out into cow with a long spine behind us. And now let's drive up into down dog. Go ahead. Heels go through the ground. Weights in our shoulders. We're going to stay here a little. And then let's return, keeping our knees an inch off the ground. Hold through our core. And then we're going to reset. 
We're going to cat. Go ahead. Exhale out into cow, long through the spine, and then drive up into down dog. Go ahead. Nice. Push those heels through the floor. Tailbone goes toward the sky. Weights in our shoulder. And then we return an inch off the ground. We hold just for a little bit. We go down to the knee. We go up in the cat. We exhale in the cow. This is the last down dog, so drive it up. Let your head relax and really find length everywhere you can. Find length. Good job. Last stretch. We're just going to kind of get you to relax. We're going to open up our back. So put our hands out in front of us. We're going to sit back toward our heels. Just breathe out and rest here. Stretch that back a little bit. Now we're going to take one arm, put it underneath our other, and sit back and pull away from it. Good job. Nice stretch in the back. We're going up. We reach through for the other side. Hopefully everything's feeling good now. You're relaxed. Excellent. So guys, that's it. Great job. You have finished the men's health interval strength workout and the stretch. You guys can utilize this DVD any way you want. You can do the warm-ups, one of the circuits, and then the cool down. You can join us for our bonus ab blast at the end. What's important is that you keep coming back and exercising, and we'll be here for you. See you again. All right, fellas, here we go. It's the ab blast. We're really going to target your abdominals and your whole core. First exercise is going to be a weighted crunch. So if you have a dumbbell near you, go ahead. Let's lay back. We're going to reach over to the side. We're going to grab it safely, bring it toward our chest. Then we're going to grab it on the outside of the dumbbell, press it up over our chest, and then we're going to drive it to the ceiling. Ready? Here we go. And down. Up and down. Good. We really want to focus on driving that belly button down into our spine and trying to squish an orange beneath our low back into the ground. Good. That's it. Push it up. Just really letting your head be relaxed. Tucking that chin. Last one. We're going to set the dumbbell down. Now we're going to do leg slides. So we're going to put our hands on our thighs. We're going to get ready and we're going to crunch up and push our hands past our knees. Set, go. Good. And down. Up and over and down. That's it. We're going to continue to concentrate on driving our belly button down into our back. Come on, squeeze it. Good. Five. Four, three, two, almost there. One, we're going to flip over onto our stomach. We're going to get into a plank position with our hands on the ground, our palms facing down. We're going to get up into a plank. So go ahead, let's get up into it. We're going to squeeze our thighs, squeeze our glutes and our core. And now we're going to rock for five, going forward, back to top, forward, Back to top. Here we go. Three more. Good. Come on, fellas. Lock that core in. One more. Now let's stay up. Squeeze through the glutes. Squeeze through the core. Come on. Stay here. Five rocks. Go. Up. This is a little bit too much. Just stay in the plank. Just hold it. We got one more. Nice. Now we're back onto our back, and we're going to do a reverse crunch. So we're going to lay down. We're going to bring our feet up to the sky, put our palms down on the floor beside us, and then we're going to push those heels toward the ceiling from our lower abdominals. You ready? Go. Good. It's a great exercise for those lower abs. Squeezing up. Push those hands through the floor. We have two more. Last one. And now let's sit up. We're going to do an exercise called the twist and reach. If you want to keep your feet on the ground, like Rainy's going to show you, it's a little less intense. We're going to pick our feet up off the ground, turn to the side, touch the floor, and then come across our body for five. Ready? Go. Reach. Good. Turn those shoulders. 
get real extension in the reach, and we're gonna switch now to the other side. Touch, reach. Come on. We got three more. The burn's there for a reason. We designed it that way. Good job. Let's get into a side plank. So we're gonna swing around. We're gonna put our elbow underneath our shoulder so that our shoulder's safe. Stack our feet. Let's come up into a plank like there's a rope pulling you to the ceiling, bracing your core. Jeremy has a variation that's a little more challenging. Rainy has a variation if you need to back off a little bit. Stay here, lock it in. Straight body line. Come on, fellas, focus on your form. It's really important here. Let's switch sides. Good, set up. Form is so critical. We want that elbow under the shoulder, stack our feet. Here we go, going up. Good. Holding strong. You guys can see the variations that Jeremy and Rainey have. Either way, you can go up if you want to make it a little harder, come down if it's a little too much. Come on, fight through the core. Pulling it all together. Great, we're gonna go onto our back now. We're gonna do an exercise called windshield wipers. So we're gonna lay down, arms are out to the side, both shoulders are gonna stay on the ground. We're gonna pick our knees up, and then we're gonna rock them off to the side. So you guys can just go ahead and rock them toward me. Ready? Go down. And across. Good. For this exercise, it's really, really important that you guys use your abs and your obliques to lower the legs and to bring them back. It's really important that we focus on that so we save our spine and it stays safe. Okay? Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Excellent. Come on, guys, fight through this. Fight through this. We're getting there. Four more. Two more. Come on. Last one. Excellent. Let's put our feet down. We're going to do an exercise that we call piston crunches. So we're going to make a fist, put our arms down to our side. We're going to tuck our chin and raise up a little bit so that we really brace our core first. So go ahead. Brace that core. And now we're going to reach our fist toward our ankle and then off to the other side. Ready? Go ahead. Good. Over and back. That's it. Push, pull. Push, pull. Nice, guys. We're really working the obliques right now. Concentrate on pushing and pulling through this exercise, and you're going to feel the burn. Drive the belly button down to the spine. Good. Now we're going to switch into a modified bicycle crunch. So we're going to pick our feet up. And we're just going to go out and back with our legs. So go ahead. You're going to drive a foot out as one comes in, and then alternate and switch them out. Excellent. We have to keep that low back flat. Squish the orange beneath our back, making that orange juice. And that keeps the integrity in our spine and our core. If that breaks, we just got to slow down a little bit, focus on our core, and bring it back. It's really important. Good. Come on, finish this burn right here. A couple more seconds. Excellent. We're done. We'll drop our feet. We're going to go into a glute bridge. So we're going to dig our heels into the ground. We're going to pull our toes up towards our shin, and we're going to drive our hips up and away from us toward the ceiling, squeezing those glutes as we go. Ready? Go. Squeeze and return. Squeeze and return. It's really important that we squeeze those glutes at the top, get all the way up so our hips get open, because it's also a really good stretch for our hip flexors. And we sit a lot, so they're always under tension. Good job. One more. Here we go. Drive it up. And now we're going to roll over onto our stomach. We're going to finish the ab blast with some back extensions. So we're going to lay down on the ground. We're going to put our arms cross underneath our chin. Let's put our head down looking at the floor. Keep your toes on the ground. And we're going to lift from the low back to keep it safe. It's a small movement. Here we go. Ready? Go. That's it. Good. We keep those toes down and really pull from the back. Our glutes are tight. We're squeezing them. We're pulling up from our low back. We're just going to get a nice burn and some work back there to kind of offset everything we've done on the front side of our core. And we're working it all. Come on, here we go. We got four, three, two, one. Excellent. That's it, guys. You've finished the ab blast. So we're really happy that you could join us. 
This is really the way that you're gonna get that belly off. We'll see you soon.